Welcome, everyone. Uh, very big thank you for all of you who sponsor one way or the other by actually attending or providing your financial support, your title sponsorship. Thanks so much for coming. More importantly, uh, we are also very grateful for all the members who have been our staunch supporter for all our events. And thank you very much if you are watching online. Um, this is really a big comeback for Asifmas events. Uh, this is already a second in a row for our physical events. Um, the first one was actually in mid-March, Sustainable Finance, which was uh, had overwhelming success. And now, second in a row, we have our China capital markets. As you all know, uh, with China markets actually having a lot of challenges recently, this is going to be a very insightful and very, I think, also very interactive dialogue between all the relevant parties in the ecosystem. And I would like to take a few moments to also introduce to you, if you don't know ASIFMA by now, uh, ASIFMA basically is a independent, non-profit making industry associations representing participants, our member firms in the capital markets in Asia. So it's not just Hong Kong, Singapore, but all over Asia that we are covering, except for Japan and Australia. So over the last three weeks, my colleagues and I have been roaming around in Asia Pacific, including ASEAN, South, South Korea, uh, Beijing, that we actually met with very interesting, but also very important influencers, including regulators and policy policymakers around the region. So in today's uh, talk, we probably will share a bit on what we observe in our China visits. Tomorrow will be our annual general meeting. So I would appeal to those members, do register and come and see the, the whole year uh, achievements that ASIFMA has been managing and has been able to achieve despite half of the year, we were still in a kind of quasi lockdown in Hong Kong. So without further ado, I would like to invite the first keynote speaker today, given we have got the very, very tight um, time schedule. Um, Julia Leung, I think, uh, will need no introduction. An old time friend, an old colleague, um, in terms of, you know, really the duration we work together, uh, I'm not referring to age. Um, and definitely, Julia is very, very energetic and young at heart as a key leader in the financial sector in Hong Kong. And not only that, in her days as an undersecretary in the Financial Services Bureau, she was actually spearheading a lot of China initiatives, which I was very privileged to join as well as part of the delegation for the um, opening up of the China markets. So I would like to invite Julia to the podium and deliver her keynote speech to us.